A runner in Forest Park attacked by a group of teenagers who beat him bloody by hitting him with tree branches. Fox 2's Paul Shankman is live in the park to explain why the spot where this happened seems like it should be one of the safest in the area. Paul. Well, it happened right here on the pedestrian and cycling trail along the west side of the park at Arundel Place. And the reason we are pretty sure it happened exactly right here is that there is a large, what appears to be blood spot on the pavement next to it, a stick that appears to be stained with blood. We will spare you the visuals, but we do want to show you this is right along Skinker, which surely would have been very busy yesterday afternoon just before 7 o'clock while it was still light. The victim says he was running on the trail when he saw five teenage boys blocking the path. He told police he tried to run around them, but the group approached him and started hitting him with tree branches. One was two inches in diameter. The teenagers also punched and kicked him. There was apparently no attempt to rob him, and police say the attacker said nothing to the victim. The suspects fled on foot, but they did not get very far thanks to a man passing by on a bicycle. There was a very good witness that was alert, uh, called 911. Um, we have Forest Park saturated with overtime officers, and one was in the area. Um, and shortly after doing this, we had all five in custody. They're still in custody as we speak. People like to use this park all the time, and especially when you're on the outside path, you feel you're pretty safe with all the traffic and things like that. And that's the last thing you expect is for people to come out and start beating you with a stick. Especially in the daylight. <laughs> yes, exactly, daylight. That's most concerning. The boys range in age from 13 to 16. The victim is a 45-year-old man from West St. Louis County. He was taken to Barnes Jewish Hospital where he was treated for cuts on his face and bruises to his body. The suspects are all black and the victim is white, but police say there is no indication this was racially motivated, probably just random. The five juveniles are being charged with second-degree assault, which is a felony. So. What is the situation with crime in Forest Park right now? Well, we will have the numbers for you coming up on Fox 2 News at 6. For now, live in Forest Park, Paul Shankman, Fox 2 News.